we've come to the scene of a fire right on the edge of Kherson that's been caused by recent Russian shelling. We're a few yards away from the river Dnipro behind me, which marks the boundary of Ukrainian held territory. And this fire has been burning for about 20 minutes or so. What's really noticeable is that there aren't any fire brigade here. We've spoken to witnesses who said there are about five rockets, five explosions that landed. They have called the fire brigade, but no one's responded yet. And that's probably because so many people in this city fled first when the Russians occupied the city in the beginning of the war, more recently as they retreated. The city liberated for almost a week, really still coming to terms, adjusting to these uh, newfound freedoms. The institutions of the Ukrainian government still still sort of setting up, re-establishing re themselves in Kherson. It was about, it was about five hits in this area. One of them was there and these guys was inside in this moment. They just, in the moment, they just go out and it's, so it happens. Everybody is okay. The fire brigade have now arrived. There's a team of them here trying to put out the blaze and what's noticeable with so many emergency workers in Ukraine when they're responding to these sorts of incidents is they're not just wearing their fire suits. They're wearing body armor and helmets as well because of the risk of more shelling. Well, basically right now uh, we're covering the territory of Kherson shipbuilding factory or shipbuilding plant, whatever. Uh, once again, we're looking for either some stray Russians, they haven't made it out, or for the remnants of their being here. We're making sure nothing is mined. We're making sure the territory is safe. So basically we're sweeping through to make sure there's no leftovers. So actually it seems that what we've come into is some sort of underground bomb shelter and storage facility uh, for nuclear and biological attack. So uh, on the floor next to me, uh, piles and piles of gas masks. Uh, there are signs here which uh, say, say contaminated. There's vials for testing clothes, there's uh, med kits. And apparently this is normal in most large plants uh, in Ukraine, indeed across the, the Soviet Union. Um, but anyway, this was the place that uh, some of the Russian soldiers who occupied Kherson uh, were based.